Whoa, guys, this is really nostalgic. It's weird. I have not touched my Wii U in so long that it feels like an ancient console. The Switch, like, completely changed my view of the system. But, uh, yes, we are on the Wii U to play a game. And you might be like, why? Why would you do this to yourself? Why would you take your Wii U out of storage? It wasn't in storage at all. Uh, the answer is actually because the game we're going to be playing today... It's one that I played a lot as a kid. One that I really, really, really loved. We are going to be starting my playthrough of my first Mega Man Battle Network game. Number four, Blue Moon. And the reason we're playing it on the, the I was going to say the Switch. That's how ruined I am. Uh, the reason we're playing it on the Wii U is because the Wii U version is actually the most updated, most stable, and most uh, content-heavy version. Because... Something really cool that if you watched my stream before of the uh, Battle Network 3 Blue, I did a little, a little bit of a stream of one just to show it off to people. And people were like, you should do a Let's Play of a Battle Network game. And I was like, fool, I've been planning that all along. Uh, they basically added in functions where, because you can't really do multiplayer, uh, if you go to the multiplayer menu, you unlock exclusive content. As well as there's other stuff like new cheats added to unlock any stuff that you previously would have been able to do through like e-reader cards or through... Uh, through events, so it's really cool, and as such, we are going to be playing it on the Wii U here. Now, Battle Network 4, you don't really need knowledge of the previous Battle Network games to understand, so if you're like, man, I don't know anything about 1, 2, 3, it's like, it's okay. We are going to give you the lowdown right here, right now. So, to do that, we're actually going to wait for this to start. We're going to open up the manual. Because one thing I love about the uh, Virtual Console is it includes... Wait a second. Where's the original manual? Oh, this is... Oh, right. To display the retro manual. I have to touch the Wii U gamepad? Oh, it's way over there. Okay. Well. There we go. Wait, what? Can I not show it on the screen? Okay, the manual's here. Wait, can I not... Can I not show it on the screen? It's only available on the gamepad? That's horrible, I was hoping to read the manual. Well... Uh... There's a, there's a whole... Okay, let me read this to you then. Because I guess I thought I could stream this to this TV. But no, the manual can only be on the gamepad. I love the Wii U. So the first Battle Network, this is the first game of this, they literally have a, a history here. So the years 20x, uh, 200x, the age of hyperspeed internet development, and everyone has a portable handset called a PET. Uh, so PETs, we'll get to that later. So the first game, you beat, the, you battle the evil secret society World 3, which is spelled WWW, which is bent on the annihilation of net society. Through Land's efforts, hacking activities have nearly been eliminated. But the whereabouts of the evil Dr. Wily, the chief villain of the story, are unknown. In the second one, you battle the Net Mafia Gospel. Uh, you... it's... then third one, you battle the resurrected Dr. Wily in third game. In a desperate battle, Lan and his friends make a furious last-ditch effort with the forbidden data in the Great Disaster. So, it's been five months since the battle with Dr. Li Wily. At last, Lan and Mega Man return as sixth graders to the tale, um, to tell the tale of World 3's home base. Okay, so then we're pretty much back in, uh, back to where we are. So yeah, it's been a couple- we, we basically, we saved the day. Do not worry other than that. Let us get started. I'm excited. This was my first one. Um, this is- this is such a, a fun experience. New game. Now, this one also is known as the worst game in the series, but you know what? I don't care. This is my favorite because I- so it, was, it, was, it, was about my, it was my first, you know? It's like the first one's always good. Well, okay, maybe it's not my favorite. Six is really good, but... In the year 200X, advanced technology connects the world's nations via the net. I just realized we're past that age now. This game takes place at least, like, eight years ago. In an age where networks control each kind of device, net crime is the only cost of convenience. Oh, look at the capitalization on it. <laughs> Nevertheless, the world is enjoying a time of peace.
I actually love the sprites. They actually did get a, a bit of a graphical overhaul since last game, which honestly, I I like this graphical style more than the more lighter shading of the first. Boring, isn't it? Analyzing the same type of data day after day, that's your job, man, you're getting paid. Every day is as dull as the one before. Sigh. Even here in Naxa's Outer Space Observe Room. <laughs> guys, guys, you have no idea how they, the, the shortened words are going to be everywhere, and I love it. Also, yeah, Naxa. Wonder, wonder what that is, right? Netopia is boring. So Netopia is uh, the name for America. I think so, anyway. So then, Naxa is not what you thought it would be, huh? Listen to me, Shilly. His name is Shilly. <laughs> oh my god. We're not here to make discoveries. Our job is to check the data from space to see if anything dangerous is heading towards the Earth. Well, I sure hope nothing dangerous starts to head toward the Earth in the next scene or two. Yeah, I know that, but sometimes... Discovering a new galaxy or watching an unknown comet shoot past... Dreams like these made me decide to work in this place. So you want to discover something? If that's the case, you should devote yourself to analyzing data from our satellites. Maybe then, even a dreamer like you will find something. Okay. Sheesh! Even you must have had your own dreams when you joined. Yeah, what a corporate salaryman. I like this girl's hair. Hey, hey, hey! Boss, what's so funny? Hey, hey, hey! All of the men stationed here say the same thing. Don't they? With an exclamation mark and not a question mark. Okay, back to work. So this game, one of the reasons it's regarded as a, uh, as a really bad... As a really bad Mega Man Battle Network game is apparently the translation was very rushed. So we're gonna get some... We're gonna get some really weird and bad dialogue. There's some really bad examples later on, but uh... Yeah, this one is known for being the one they kind of pushed out the door as fast as possible. What does she mean? Even you! But... Even me. But it's meant to be, uh, to be very anime. Like, it, it's not meant to be, but it makes it come across as like an old 90s anime dub, and I love it. Everyone here has their own dreams about space. That's enough now. No more chattering. Get back to staring at these screens that blink the exact same thing over and over. Hee hee! Hey hey! That's how people laugh. Whoa! What's this? Look! Look! What is it now? This better be good. My monitor, just look here! Holy cow! <laughs> oh, an unironic holy cow. Boss! Boss! Move your monitor to Pluto! Got it! An asteroid! Headed straight for the Earth? Wow, that's embarrassing. An impact of this magnitude would be the end of us. An impact? Surely it won't hit us! As part of the team at Naxa, you should be able to work that out for yourself, right? Well, I think he was asking a rhetorical question. We need to take action quickly. If we don't, the Earth is finished. Gather all of the world's experts on asteroids. Do it now! Y yes, sir! Just the a asteroid experts. Meanwhile, we will start our analysis. Roger! Click buttons. That'll solve the day. So that's the major plot. Guess what? We're not directly involved for a good while. Oh man, I had that PET. Like that exact model. It was so cool. Lan, wake up! You said you'd go shopping with Dad today. Ugh. Look at this boyo. Look at this boyo. Uh, hurry, get dressed and come down. Or is that his mom or is that Mega Man? I don't even know. Ha ha, what a good sleep that was. Oh yeah, I've got mail. I'd better check it out later. 
Yeah, this is our main character, Lan Hikari. He rollerblades everywhere because it's cool. One thing I love about Battle Network, you can click on pretty much anything and it will explain it. A photo. It's of Lan and Mail. Well, I think it's pronounced Mei Lu. But it's because in the show it was Mei Lu, so I'll, I'll say that. They look pretty tight. It's too early to go to sleep. Lan's bookcase. I keep the first chip I was ever given safely up top. Chips are like attacks in Pokemon. I want to see that poster. That poster of clearly Dr. Light. Okay, so one cool thing. So Lan's last name is Hikari. Hikari means light in Japanese. And literally, Lan's grandpa was Dr. Light. So this is an alternate universe to the original Mega Man series, where basically instead of going into robots, Dr. Wily and Dr. Light went into developing the internet. So that's pretty cool. So you can go around. Fine, I'll pick you up. Lan got the PET, Personal Electronic Terminal. Lan, you've got mail. Also, yeah, that's Mega Man's voice. It's... it's I go after the show. So, check out our email. You've got new mail! Is everyone performing regular virus scans? If not, your electronic... your electric devices may suddenly break down. Try to check for viruses once every day? Wow, that is a dystopian future. No such thing as a vast. So, what do we have to begin with? We got a pretty basic deck here. Key items, we just got our PT. Oh no, it's I always say personal electronic terminal, but it's just a personal terminal, so. So one cool thing is that by going to the comms menu, I can unlock a whole bunch of chips. They are very powerful and game breaking. For now, I'm not gonna get them. I'm talking these are so basically chips come in three varieties. There are standard chips. Mega Chips, which are powerful enough that you can only have five in your deck, and Giga Chips, of which there are only five supposed to be, and you can only get um, uh, one in your deck. There's also uh, Program Advances, which we'll get into later. By going to the comm menu, I can get like, like a whole bunch, and so it's a little cheating, so for now I'm not gonna. Later on I will show them off once it becomes more balanced, but for now let's, let's go here. This is our house! Look at it! Even an earthquake wouldn't upset these solid dishes. Another dog house! It's been here ages. Probably best not to met. Yeah, so there's- they have two dog houses for- and no dog. It's kind of weird. So you can click around. Lots of stuff. What's with the dolls? Whoops. The dolls here, it's like, This is the doll Dad brought as a present from overseas. Mom's most treasured possession. That's cute. There's coffee and a few basic food items. Mom's salmon sandwiches or something else. This TV is pretty thin. And yet the picture is much better than on a CRT type. Oh, so, okay, reminder, this game was made in what year? Let me just double check. Because if this was made in... This game was made in when? I need to find out. Okay, so, where's... Is this just regular virtual console? It's set at the start. Regardless, it was made in the early 2000s, right? So basically it's like, they're like, yeah, it's much better than on a CRT type. So it's like, that's hilarious. We haven't used CRTs in forever. Except for unless you're a melee player. Just one board could control all of this house's appliances. Pity you can't jack into them. Okay. So some of you might be like, excuse me, what? So jacking in is a uh, is a term meaning to to like hack into, and uh, it leads to some fun dialogue. The spots brimming with one of mom's special recipes. That's good. Food's always good. Some of mom's special candy. They're pot brownies. The sweet smell's irresistible. Look at this cool fridge. There are all kinds of ingredients here. Sup, Mom? Good morning, Len. Morning, Mom! You look upset. What's wrong? The microwave. It's broken, so I can't make breakfast. That's really sad. There's many things you can make for breakfast without a microwave, but I wonder if it caught a virus. Just leave it to me! I'll jack you into it! I'm sorry, what? I'll jack you into it? I think he means I'll jack into it. Why would he jack his mom into it? That's a fun sentence. Uh, let's see, if we talk to Dad here, though. It's the microwave. Let's jack into it. 
To jack in, stand in front of it and press the R button. Oh, thanks, Dad. Uh, one cool thing is is the L button lets you always talk to your partner, and he'll always tell you where to go. It's actually very helpful. Len, jack me into the microwave! Okay, I will do, Mega Man. Wait, where's the micro- is this the microwave? Oh, do you mean they- uh, do they mean the oven? Is- is it a- is it a- a literal microwave oven? Oh, that effect looks really bad on my TV. Help me! Ah! It's a Mr. Prog! Len! Viruses are attacking Mr. Prog! Mega Man, it's viruses busting time! <laughs> I love this failure of an attempt at English. I love it! Roger, you operate, I bust! <laughs> you bust those nuts, let's do this! Hey you! Leave Mr. Prog alone! Ah, uh, Mega Man! Help me, please! Now, let's see how good you are, Lan. Dad, watch me delete these in a second! Let's go, Mega Man! Battle routine set! Execute! Oh man, I wanted to say that for so long. Alright, okay, so... Let's... It's... Okay, so I'm just gonna skip this because it's like... It's... 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 Really self-explanatory. Hit enemies with chips and you're good. So basically, but the thing is they have codes. You can select ones of the same code or the ones of the same type. Um, select certain ones and then you can do your, uh, do specials. So yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. You always have a Mega Buster on B, though at this point it just does one damage. Don't get hit! Simple as that. And when your custom gauge goes up, you can get more chips. Let's bust some viruses! I got a counter hit. I got it a counter hit. Look at that. Predicting the foe. It's amazing. Yeah! Concentrate. You're not finished yet! Thanks, Dad. Love you too. This is gonna give me some, some cool combos. Like, yeah, you can combine, for example, since Area Grab and Wide Sword use the same uh, chip code, you can connect them, and so you can do a combo with them. Because, of course, you cannot walk into the opponent's territory. So a sword chip is actually really tough to use, because they have to be right in front of you. So by making their area smaller, you're able to drop it. There we go, and so yeah, see we do have a, a charge, and it does charge up to 10. But it takes a little bit. You can totally dip, duck, dive, and dodge this dude. So we're actually, by getting counter hits, we're, we're getting a system that is not actually a thing that we've been taught yet. Did it! Just one more. Go for it. Nice, beautiful Joe reference, Dad. You have a moment? Let me tell you about Counter and Full Synchros. This is the new system that replaces a couple of systems in three. Huh? What's that? Take a look at the emotion window here. It shows you Navi's emotional state. By looking here, you can tell how you're, how well you're operating your Navi. At first, your Navi will be calm, but if you operate poorly and he keeps taking damage, he'll get anxious. That's anxious. Conversely, a well-operated Navi will go full synchro, a state where Navi and operator act as one. This improves focus. That's, see, that's full synchro there. How do I operate that? If you avoid attacks and score your own, you will go full synchro. But the most effective attack is counter. Counter? Counter means using a chip attack right when the enemy is about to attack. They'll be caught off guard and they won't be able to move for a bit. I see, it surprises them. When full synchro's, uh, when full synchro, the next chip attack is two times one time. <laughs> okay, wow, that's a really, it, did you just say once? Is It does double damage once? That would make more sense. And the enemy will flash to show you when you should counter. You can use two times if you score, uh, yep. Yeah. So there we go. We'll start full synchro. Attack when the enemy flashes, which we can do. It's pretty easy. I've been doing it this whole time. Whoops, I screwed it up. Whoops, I screwed it up. Yeah, see, so... Because I, I, I misguided which one... I miscalculated which one will come first, so... It's really easy to get with these enemies, but later on, they definitely get a lot harder with hitting them on, on counter. Like, the Mets literally have frames where it's supposed to be, but other ones, it's just right before they attack. Were you able to counter? 
Don't try to do it every time, but if you can master it, you'll be stronger. Oh, I almost forgot. Counter won't work with chips that, uh, that stop time, such as area grab. That's a big one, because stop time chips are, are always the most powerful one. So, think about which chip to use. Thanks, Dad! Counter and full synchro! How cool! It's okay now! Are you- are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Thank you so much. So Mr. Progs are just like basic computer programs. They're kind of like the generic sort of... Like they're not sentient like net navvies. They're just programs. Okay, bye. Just keep, keep... just... Oh, what you doing? Ow. Ouch. I knew it. You're hurt, aren't you? I think my ignition system is broken. I won't be able to heat anything. Well, then I can't make any breakfast. Mom, just use a toaster. Mom! Just use a toaster. Or cereal. There's many options. What can we do? Oh, no! On, no. On, no. Dad, can't you do anything? Let's see. I could fix him if I could get my hands on a re recuv patch. I think that's a recovery patch. Where can we get a recuv patch? Len, I think you could buy one from a navi in the net. Right then, I'll go for one. I can't take this hunger. Mega Man, let's access the net from my PC. Oh yeah, Dad, I'll need some money. Ha ha ha. I know, I know. But you have to jack out Mega Man first. Okay, Mega Man, jack out. Roger. Hang in there a bit longer, Mr. Prog. So I guess uh, one, one other thing I should say, that's not really info that's in this game, I think, ever brought up. Um, so Mega Man is actually Lan's brother? Who was, who died. Twin brother who died at birth, and then his dad was like, I'm gonna turn my son into a program. So literally Mega Man is his brother in this. So that's... Just in case you want to know, let's talk to them. I think they sell Recov Patch in ACDC 3. You can- okay, so ACDC is the town, so like, on the third page of the ACDC net. This should be enough money. Buy a Recov Patch and bring it to me right away. We got 500 Zennies! Anyone who's playing any Capcom game will be like, Oh, it's Zenny! Yeah, Zenny, it's- it's- that's- Thanks to this game, I thought Japan used Zenny as an actual currency for a long time. Thanks a lot. How's it going, Mom? Get to it, Lan. Okay, fine. It's funny, because yesterday my mom was like, Hey, can you just hop on the net and buy me something? And I'm like, why Why can't you do it, Mom? But it's like, I get this feeling. Old people don't know how to use the internet. They don't know how to jack it all. This is our main page. Uh, this becomes a warp zone later. Look at our our, our football background. Dad said could patch big soul in ACDC 3, right? Yes, so let's go there. This is ACDC 1. Does it not say in the bottom corner? It does that in later games. That's helpful. So these are mystery data. These are red. Green ones are random. Blue ones are set. Purple ones are locked. These are chests. We got an air shot. Okay, so that air shot there is a star, which means it can be partnered with any other chip. So as such, I'm definitely going to be putting it on. So I'm going to get rid of mini bomb because I don't like mini bomb that much. It has a long arc. What's up, Mr. Prog? Welcome to the internet. This is the ACDC area. So ACDC town is the name of uh, of the town here. These are security cubes, you need a thing. We'll get to it all. That skull door we won't open till late, 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 late game. But uh, yeah, it's a fun combat system actually. I really enjoy it. I feel like there's a lot to it that uh, some people don't, like it's very basic. It's not a hard combat system. Uh, that said, these enemies are easy. They get much harder later on. There are some... There's some bullcrap which will get a mini energy. That's good. That's that's a heal anywhere item. There is some stuff later on that is like... Bosses appearing out of nowhere territory. Uh, anyone who's played this game knows exactly what I'm talking about. So we'll get to that. So like, there is, like with that cannon, you can't see the projectile fire, but there is a delay as it goes from the one to the other, so it's kind of interesting. So one thing you actually do want to try and get is, uh, 
try and make it so that your your deck is very low in terms of the actual uh, codes, so that you can get you know a full hand pretty much every time. What's up, dude? This is the wide blue. This wide blue path is the main street for ACDC area. It runs all the way to the next area. Cool. So basically, follow the blue brick road. Hey, what's up, man? You can get to ACDC3 by following the main street. Thanks, dude! Yeah, they actually really streamlined the internet. In the first game, the internet is really badly laid out. Have you seen the BBS before? Yeah, man, I love Birth by Sleep. They can fi be found on various homepages and let people exchange all kinds of info with each other. The type of info depends on the type of homepage. My favorite is the BBS on Dex's homepage. There are two ways to access homepages either from the net, or jacking in from the real world. If you don't have DEX code, the only way to access it is by jacking in directly from the real world. Oh yeah. You should check out Yai's Gossip BBS too. Oh uh, yeah, BBSs are in this game, they're, they're pretty cool. Uh, not open at the moment, good, because I was gonna say, can I just spend all my money here? That'd be bad. Got Area Grab S, I should probably put that on. Get another S, lots of S chips, the best chips are S chips, as usual, so we're gonna go... A, A, crack out. The encounters aren't too bad. Uh, it does get to a point later on where it definitely feels... Oh, and yet yeah, you can crack panels, and then stuff that's on the ground won't hurt you, so that's pretty cool. Um, later on, it definitely does get to a point where you're like, Oh my god, these every enemy feels like it can kill me, and it kind of sucks. But, uh, right now it's fine. But this game does have a bit of a difficulty curve. We got Heat Shot. Ooh, get an elemental chip in here. So yeah, let's throw on area grab, because area grab is useful. Heat shot! Ooh, 40 damage, just a nice 40. A mini gu or guards? Guards are actually not too bad. I might throw one on just for hits and shiggles. Recoveries are always good. And then I like to just sort by ID. There we go. Recoveries are always good. So yeah, this is a good starting out deck for sure, but uh, you will definitely want to start narrowing it down later. What's up, man? Oh yeah, we talked to you already. Hey, what's up, Mr. Prog? Thanks to Main Street, processing speed has increased! Yeah, literally, because before it was like a super maze. Hey, you can't go in here there, okay? Sure, man. Oh, here we go. This mystery data that's in the level here means it's actually special. It means, basically, if you save it, if it doesn't get destroyed in battle by either you or the enemy, uh, it will, uh, basically be, be, you will get it at the end. There's some bosses later on. Oh, I have nothing here that'll work. I'm just gonna get rid of these, because I'm not gonna use them, obviously. Um, there's bosses later on that have mystery data in the fight, that, uh, obviously, if they get destroyed, then you won't be able to, uh... There we go, Vulcan. Vulcans, see, they do 10 damage, but here's the thing, you'll see in a sec. There you go. Um, yeah, so you get them if you save them. Got some money. And we got some money. I was gonna say, is it gonna be that thing? Because we gotta got to start saving them up right now for that. This one's locked. You can't get into it. That's locked. There's paths here. There. We'll go there later. There's a lot of exploring to do. Ooh, we got our first, uh, first enemy with a little bit more HP. We also don't really have much here in terms of attack, so that's not good. Gotta wait for him to come up to the first panel. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. This dude actually is a real pain in the butt in the, uh, in the GameCube game, which I do not recommend it for anybody. Ow. The GameCube game is the most difficult Battle Network game ever. It's the worst. It's ridiculous how easy it is to die. I think we'll get the recover patch before we end. Ah, I know, we'll, we'll get it next time. Thank you guys for watching! And next time on Mega Man Battle Network, we're going to, uh... We're gonna go get the recover patch. I'm excited for this Let's Play. I hope you are too. It's gonna be a fun experience. This game is pretty short. And, uh... It's a fun- It's it's my first Battle Network game, so this is very nostalgic for me, so I'm very gonna enjoy it. So thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Ciao!